Racism Racism in general Racism is the belief that groups of humans possess different behavioral traits corresponding to physical appearance and can be divided based on the superiority uh, of one race over another. Types of racism Racism can be according to skin color, gender, social state, and physical state. Men who fought racism William H. Carney, Frederick Douglass, Fanny Lohammer, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., John Lewis, Nelson Mandela. These are some names for great heroes who fought against racism and war and defended peace and justice. Now let us talk about Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela was a South African revolutionary political leader who served the president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999. He was the country's first black head of state and the first elected in fully representative democratic election. His government focused on dismantling the legacy of apartheid by tackling institutionalized racism and fostering racial reconciliation. Ideolo- ideologically an African nationalist and socialist, he served as the president of the African National Congress Party from 1991 to 1997. My day at school probably started out pretty much like yours. I had English in the morning, a maths test, then played soccer with some mates. I scored a goal. Only one of the guys on the other team screamed at me, calling me really nasty names. Like he called me a black monkey. It had nothing to do with soccer and everything to do with the colour of my skin. That's not on. And it's not even legal. You can't go around trashing people because of their race. A teacher was watching and pulled him up over it. We're all going to have a lesson on racism and what to do about it. Oh, and that guy, he's busted with two weeks detention and he's out of the team. That's a red card for racism. I probably use my computer pretty much like you do. Check the news, catch up on what friends are doing, waste some time on Facebook. Only this one time, I went on this website and there was all this stuff written about how bad Aboriginal people were, horrible racist stuff. And then there were comments from other people on the site saying nasty things about Aboriginal people too. It got worse and worse the more I read. And it really hurt because, you know, I'm Aboriginal. It's personal. So I stopped reading and started writing. I googled what to do and who can help. I asked around. And most people had the same advice. Make a complaint with the Human Rights Commission. So I did. Turns out I wasn't the only one complaining about the site. They were told they had to remove all the offensive material, and it's gone. So no one else had to read what I had to. Because it's just not okay to discriminate. And thanks to the Racial Discrimination Act, we can all do something about it. My day probably started out pretty much like yours. Got up, brushed my teeth, ate breakfast, and headed off to do the shopping. Only when I got to the bus stop, the bus driver wouldn't let me on. She said, we've had troubles with your sort before. And then she just drove off. I was totally confused. My sort? What was she talking about? My sort is middle-aged mother of three who likes spicy food. Oh, and I'm from China. She didn't like where I'm from, so she wouldn't let me on the bus? That's just wrong. And it's against the law. It's called the Racial Discrimination Act. She might not know that, but I do. So I contacted the Human Rights Commission and made a complaint. They spoke to the bus company and listened to both sides of the story. The driver agreed to call me and apologise for what had happened. Plus, the company's going to run some training to make sure their drivers understand about the law. So it won't happen again. And if it does, I know who to call. Speaking up is better than being silent.